Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and I'm super excited for today's video because it is my favourite time of year, Christmas. So I don't know about your for you pages on TikTok but mine lately have been full of Christmas DIYs, life hacks and crafts and I have seen some go super viral that almost look a little too good to be true so I thought it'd be super fun if in today's video we tested some of those out together. But before we get into that I do just want to apologise quickly about not uploading lately. I have been sick. <laughs> like I don't know if you can tell I am still quite sick but I wanted to get a new video up so yeah I really apologize for that please know that there are plenty more videos on the way I'm just trying to get over this cold but without further ado let's get on into so this. I saw these super cute Manolo blonds on Instagram what you're gonna need are these little eyelets some tools and then the ornament you're gonna start off with a small eyelet and then a larger one and you're gonna basically weave it through each other you're gonna repeat that step until you get 16 of these and eight is gonna go onto each shoe don't mind my dirty mirror but look at how cute I just test out this first life hack because it's all to do with my favorite material item in the world, high heels. Now, I am so excited to turn one of these into a festive pair of heels. I'm not too sure which pair yet, but I do have some pink baubles that we're going to attach to it. So let's go do it. So in the end, I decided to use these shoes. And as you can see, I have lots of pink baubles here. So I've just cut all of the strings off them. That way I'd be able to use them. So to put these on, the TikTok said just use some pliers, open up a little jewelry cable thingy, put the bell on and put it on the shoe. Now, I don't have any pliers so instead I'm using tweezers and it'll work just fine this is what I used to do all the time when I would do DIYs these work just as well so I just shove it on top and push it right down so it opens up and then from there we just pick a bauble put it on and then from there I'm just gonna put it on to the ribbon so now that I have that all attached I'm just gonna use the tweezers again to close it up and there we go we have the first one on doesn't that look so cute so I'm now just gonna apply the rest because this looks like it's gonna work and I think it's gonna be so gorgeous also don't mind my nails I know I used to have like the big fake acrylics when I did these sorts of videos but you know I'm a lesbian now so I don't have any nails all right this is the finished product you guys and I actually think this is gonna look really gorgeous on so let's do it these heels have turned out so good y'all aren't ready they're very tacky but so cute these are what the heels have turned out like so I'm absolutely obsessed I think they look gorgeous they're definitely like super tacky and so funny but I love tacky as we all know so I think this is such a fun way to upcycle a pair of shoes for the season because the baubles will easily be removed so there's no stress with that at all personally have never been a big fan of tinsel on the tree. It was actually one of the first things that when I moved out and got my own home, I refused to put tinsel on my Christmas tree because I've just never liked it. I've never liked how it looks. I just think it makes the tree look really tacky. My personal opinion, of course, if you want to use tinsel on your tree, by all means, go ahead. But when I saw this viral life hack on TikTok, I thought it was amazing and such a fun way to add tinsel to a tree without making it look yuck. So I have some gorgeous pink tinsel here. Of course, what other color would it be? So let's test it out on my white Christmas tree and I think it's white it's been a whole year I can't remember what color I think it's a white tree so let's do this hack and see how it looks all right this is my tree so it turns out it's green with white snow on it I clearly haven't put it up yet this year but this is what the normal tinsel would look like on and it just looks ugly to me personally I just do not like it so let's do the hack instead oh just taking a little bit of it cutting it oh Okay, the star fell off. Cutting it and then just tying it around the branch. I mean, I can already tell that I'm going to like this a whole lot more, especially with this sort of tinsel. I think it's going to look really nice. So, so that I don't bore you guys to death, let's do a quick time lapse of me doing this. All right, and the lucky last bit of tinsel that I have, there we go. This looks amazing. So I obviously didn't have very much tinsel. I've just used a little bit, but I am obsessed with this hack and think that it's such a great way to put tinsel on your tree. It looks so much better than the original way. And this looks gorgeous. Like I actually genuinely really like it and I hate tinsel. So 10 out of 10 recommend this one. a warning for this next life hack. I am letting my full Disney adult out. <laughs> Oof. Now I do have to give you guys a warning on this next life hack. I'm probably going to let my full Disney adult shine through on this one because that is who I am at heart. But I thought that this was such a cute idea or if you have kids out there I thought this would be great. I don't have kids. This is, this is just for me. But taking the three baubles and melting them. I don't know how that's going to work but melting them to make a Mickey Mouse bauble. Amazing. 
amazing. I love it. I think it's so smart. So let's test it out. Now, when I said y'all go ready for Disney adult time, I meant it. I'm drinking out of a Disney mug whilst doing this DIY. It's just coffee because as I said, I'm a little bit sick, but I'm very intrigued to see if this DIY works because last year I went out and I bought actually a bunch of Mickey Mouse baubles. As you can see, it's so cute, but these are so expensive. They were like six bucks a bauble and that's in Aussie dollars. So quite a lot. So if this DIY works, it is such a good idea. So let's do it. I have all the items that I need. I have the three baubles, the lighter, and I don't own any like chopsticks. I'm just going to use a makeup brush. So the first step it says to do is just to take a lighter and light this. I'm a little bit nervous. Oh, it's, oh, it's melting. Okay, okay, okay. I don't know at what point I'm meant to like start poking through. Do I try, I might try it now and just, oh, oh, okay. That's a different consistency to what I expected. It just kind of melted, which sounds silly. Of course it melted. Now I'm meant to just melt it again and then stick this on and it's just meant to stick. So let's try it. Ah. Okay, it's not sticking. Maybe I didn't light it long enough. All right, that's not sticking at all, like not even in the sliders. What the heck? So I've just rewatched the TikTok and I'm using the same baubles as them, just in a different color. But I did notice that before the two attach, there is a sneaky little cutaway moment. So I'm not too sure if this is a legit craft or if it's like a five minutes craft where they magically like take it off screen, super glue it real quick, and then it works. So I'm going to try this again with a little bit of a different technique. Instead of poking a hole in it, I'm going to try and just light it and see if it'll stick whilst it's still that melty, gooey that it was before. Okay, so let's do this. I really want this to work because I think it could be so fun. Okay, so you guys can probably see it's starting to melt. I'm going to let it go a little longer. All right, and I'm going to quick, 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 quick. Ah! I'm pushing that down. It's not sticking, like not even in the sliders. I am just going to go ahead and call it this doesn't work. I think if you want to make one of these Mickey baubles, you're so much better off just gluing it together because this just doesn't work. And I see now that like it never was going to because why would melting it just automatically make it stick together? And also the fumes aren't great. So I just do not recommend this one. This Lucky Last hack went super viral as well because I personally think it's a great idea. Instead of buying new throw pillows all the time and buying like, you know, new ones for every season, you can just apparently use a blanket to tie a poo pillow and make it look super festive. So if this works, I'm going to be doing that all year round, not only at Christmas, but with any fun blankets because blankets are so much cheaper than getting pillows and I love throw pillows. So let's give it a go. For this DIY, I don't actually own any Christmas blankets, but I do have a Christmas tablecloth. So that should work the same. If not, I'll just use an ordinary blanket. So this is the pillow I'm using, pretty basic, and this is the tablecloth. So I need to put it on a degree like that. And it says to just fold it up like so, and then to fold the other corner over like that. And then <laughs> apparently it's meant to just all come together and you tie the two sides here. Ta-da! Now I think we can all agree this looks like absolute rubbish. So it looks like I think the idea is still there. I think it's just that because I'm trying to get the whole Christmas vibe using a tablecloth isn't working. So let me just get a normal blanket. Normal blanket here. So we're going to try this again. So we're pulling the corner over and it's a bit long as you can see. So I'm just going to tuck that under. Bringing this side over and doing the exact same thing. Again, we're just meant to tie up the sides on the front and it's meant to turn into a cute design where, again, I think we can all agree that that doesn't look very good. So I think I'm going to say that this is also a flop. I do think in some scenarios this could work, like if you have just the right size blanket and pillow, so definitely give it a go. But for all the blankets and pillows that I have, it was not working. And those are all of the Christmas DIY and life hack TikTok that we are testing out in today's video. Be sure to let me know down below which one was your favorite and also be sure to let me know if there's any more that you want me to test out in the future because I'm more than happy to do that. Also be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every single week except for when I'm sick like last week but I am hopefully back for good now unless the sickness gets worse but I'm really hoping it doesn't. But yeah, uploading every week and I'm also on Instagram, TikTok and all that good stuff. I'll have my links on the screen right now and also linked down below. I love you guys so, so much and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.